Hello Squids, this is Squeebie here with another Java 3D tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be doing animations. Um, I was going to do materials, but that's actually really, really easy, so I'm not going to do materials just yet. But I'm going to do animation right now, because it's actually a bit more complicated and I like doing complicated things. But the first thing we need to do is actually implement a key listener. And the reason for this is because what we're going to do is we're going to make it so if you keep press a key, so, um, let me just get rid of the auto stuff. So if if e dot get key code is equal to key event event dot vk escape. This pretty much says, okay, if you press the escape key, then you're going to do system dot exit in condition of no, in condition of zero. So pretty much, if you press the escape button, you're going to close the program. And one last thing we need to do is we need to do f dot add key listener this. There we are. And now when you run it on the program, you have this, right? This teapot, you hit escape, it closes out. Alright, so now we need to move on with the FPS animator. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here, and we need to, we don't need to create it, actually no, not make, don't make it global. Just put it here, just say FP, FPS animator FPS anime Alright, so we need to say that, and then what we need to do is we need to go here, we need to say, here we need to say, FPS anime is equal to new FPS animator. And then we need to add it to our draw method. So that's, that's pretty much going to initialize the FPS animator, and this is change type of DR to int. Oh, that's not right. Hold on one second. Okay, yeah, the, I found out the, what the problem was. We're gonna make this 60, so it cycles through 60 seconds. 60 seconds, right? 60 seconds. What am I saying? I can't speak English today. Anyways, we're gonna do FPS anime dot start. There we are. Okay, so now we've added this. I believe we've added this to the... Yep, we did it! Alright. Let's move on. So now we need to go into our display method here. And before we do anything, actually we want to create a public int ro rotate is equal to zero. Alright, so you're going to declare that. And then in here, you need to say rotate plus equals 0.5f. Oh, that's, that shouldn't work. Float. Okay. So, let's see. Yep. So we need to say gl dot gl rotated. Rotated, rotate zero, one, zero. Okay, this should work. I'm not 100 percent confident that this is going to work, though. Yeah, see, it works. It's going really slowly, but it works. And you can see, for some reason, you can see through it. I don't. That's because it's a Utah teapot. It's because we're using a Utah teapot. And it looks like it's going back and forth, but it's actually going full revolution around. And then it comes back around. Yeah, and that's how, pretty much how you do animations. And because I still have a lot of time remaining, um, I think I'm going to end this process. I think I'm going to do materials. And materials is really simple, so we need to find our um, 
see the intensity, instead of saying gl diffuse, we can say gl dot gl shininess. And it's going to give it kind of a shiny material. See, it's a bit shinier. But yeah, that's how you do rotation um, or animation. I'm going to go by and I'm going to explain what I just did real quick. So, FPS Animator is, of course, creating the object of S FPS Animator. And what this does is this adds it to our draw method. So it adds the FPS animator to our draw method. And then this is how many seconds it's going to animate for. Like how many sec. Yeah, you get it. And then this is going to start the animation. Then down here what we have was we have our rotate variable. We set that initially to zero, so it's not rotating at all. But then it's going to increase the rotation by 0.5. So it's going to keep increasing the rotation. And that's... And then GL.GL GL rotate is pretty self-explanatory, just rotates. And yeah, that's how you do that's yep. How you do animation. Alright, thanks Squiz for watching. Please like, subscribe, or leave any comments, concerns, or questions in the comments below. Um, I will have this code uploaded to my um, website pretty soon. And see you in the next episode.